When you join the military, it is, it's not always perfect. There's always moments where you second guess, should I have done this, should I have done that. But ultimately, it has given me so many awesome experiences. It has made me a better person. Oh, there are moments, you know, when you're laying down in the dirt or sleeping on gravel or having to kill like some kind of spider <laughs> where you suddenly regret your decision to enlist. But then there are moments when you're, you know, at the bay or with friends and you're just laughing and you've got someone to relate to and you've got this, I don't know, this, it's this great adventure, really. When you reflect upon your life and the choices that you make, I have no regrets. I have no regrets joining. I was working this some kind of school event and this little girl came up to me and wanted a hug from me and she was like you're my hero and like calling me wonder woman and i was like oh my gosh my heart you know it was just really cool being in the military is not always easy and you know it's very very difficult there's a lot of demands on your life so at first when she approached me i was like no i don't want my daughter to join uh, and that's just how you feel, because it's your, your little girl. I think everyone was surprised that I joined the military. Um, high school, I was pretty girly, like super girly, and had such ambition to do other things. And then one day, I just changed my mind entirely. But I also realized in the end that it's been a wonderful opportunity for me, and I wouldn't want to take that away from her. I think what appealed to me most is the best of both worlds. Um, I was able to pursue other dreams and aspirations, but still kind of have that honor of doing something and being a part of something bigger than myself, and that was really appealing to me. We talked about it. Um, I said, you can have any job you want that you're qualified for, and uh, she decided to go into artillery. That was not exactly what I had in mind. I was thinking more something in an office, so she said, I want to do a, a job that hasn't really been open to females. Well, it was 10 days after my 17th birthday, and my mom and I were looking at jobs, and I found the one job that had just opened for women. I didn't even know anything about it, and this is someone who doesn't know how to like pop the hood on her car. You realize that you are a minority in an organization that is mostly made up of males. In the early years, when I was really young, you either had to fit in with the guys and be like the guys, or you had to ostracize the other females. As I've gotten older, it doesn't play a part in my career like it used to. Also, the new generation doesn't have the same kind of views as the generation that when I first joined in 1987 has. I'm really fortunate to work with a lot of younger people that don't have those same conceptions of gender. It's hard being a female in the military at times, um, though all the people at my unit have been really supportive and. A very pro equal opportunity. There was a couple of incidents at basic training that was like, man, if I was dealing with a woman, this would not be an issue. But it's also been the most exciting thing to break those barriers and kind of shatter that glass ceiling. You want your daughter to be comfortable, and it's not, military is not always a comfortable place. So you definitely want that for her. But I do want what she wants, and that's, I will be there to support her in whatever she chooses. My parents influenced me to join the military, mostly my mom. She's so powerful and awesome, and watching her just crush it at work, I was like, I could do that. And I guess three years later, here I am. You can do it. That's the number one advice that I can tell any young woman that approaches me and asks me. Women are strong, women are courageous, women have tenacity, women don't stop, they keep going. It's gonna be hard, but women are certainly capable of serving in the military. I don't know, it's really exciting being someone who wears this uniform. It goes back to that pride in yourself and having this exact moment of like, I am strong enough to overcome this. And when you do, it's like the best exhilarating feeling ever. Seeing the uniforms up in the closet, side by side, uh, making sure that she has everything she needs for drill, looking over her newsletter. I'm, I am still a mother and I'm also a sergeant. So I see it through two eyes. It's great to be able to say that my daughter serves, and it is fun to be together in uniform and to walk in a place together and, and be thanked for our, our service.